Hey guys, what is going on? It's Tony1230 here, and I'm coming at you guys with a little bit different of an approach of a video today. Now, I realize there's nothing on screen at the moment, but there will be soon enough. Just hold your dips and uh, sit back and relax. Now, the reason I'm making this video is it's come to my attention that a lot of my friends and a lot of people that I know uh, want to start YouTube, but they don't quite know how, and they don't know, you know, kind of what program to use. Uh, so I figured that to kind of give you guys an idea of what I have to do per episode, um, I figured I was going to make a little, not a tutorial, but so much so, but a little how I do YouTube. Um, and uh, I, I just hope it helps. Um, the program I'm going to be demonstrating today is obviously the one I use and the one I use a, a lot of. And that is Camtasia, although it, we've had some problems in the past. Uh, with the current version that I'm running right now, this seems to be very, very fixed. <laughs> um, anyways, so I just want to start off here and uh, run you through the program real quick. This is what it looks like. Um, now, <laughs> I'm a little like herpy derp because I just finished up rendering through <sighs> three hours of footage. So I'm a little like, oh my god. So explaining this part, I might get a little confused because I've just been doing it so much. Anyways, so this is your, these are your basic. This is what you get. Um, if you, I'm not sure if this is what the trial looks like. I don't think so. Um, anyway, really, really easy to use. So right here, you got the clip bin. You can import uh, anything like pictures, videos, uh, whatever you want. Let's get out of this. So like for this episode, I'm going to actually be uploading. I don't know what am I doing? I am going to be uploading a, a, a video, and it's going to be Dead Space. Shoo. Um, like I said, I'm going to pick it back up. So uh, here's where you clip and store. You, like I said, music, video, pictures, anything you want. And you just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Pretty straightforward. Now this is going to come up, and if you are doing YouTube, you're going to want to set. That's what I do. 1280 by 720. That's high definition, I think up to 7, yeah, 720. So you click that, you make sure it's all whatever, blah, blah, blah. And we search Namo. So you want to put that right up against it. And then you have your preview here. Obviously, you play it as such. And you can stick around with how far you want it. Etc, etc. Anyway, um, you, can, you can have multiple videos in one. Uh, so if I wanted to drag and drop another one on there and have that one double click it can be sizes. <laughs> so for whatever reason if you want to be playing with uh, another video, like I normally do my webcam in this fashion. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's how I do my webcam. Uh, I often just record with my iPod. I, I fit, uh, 5 Gen seeing as it records in 1080p. Um, you, there's um, you can uh, uh, maybe get rid of this actually. I think about that. Get rid of that. So when you click on this, you have your you know your, your editing options. You can click and drag and make it smaller, or bigger, or what have you. I normally do this to cut off um, windows, like you know how they have like, the little window thing here, and sometimes the task bar. Um, normally that shows up in a lot of my recordings. So I just like let's say if enjoy with my task bar, I would just drag it down like that and cut it off so you can't see it because I know it's all really annoying. Um, also, same with the top, you know, blah blah blah. There's a little middle thing right in the middle that you can rotate with. And then you just you know, let it go, you know, whatever, what have you, etc, etc. Now, um, normally what you see down here, and this is something I'm going to get into when I get into my recorder, is you have, you're going to have, depending on the headset or microphone you use, you will have a separate timeline up here. Uh, way above it, and it looks exactly the same as this, but it's going to be, like for me, it's my microphone, my headset. Um, so that's going to be my volume level, and then this is going to be my system audio level, and then I can go into the audio option and turn it down or turn it up. Or So it's, it's, really, it's really cool that it allows you to do that, because a lot of programs actually don't. Um, so after that, this is your library. Now, this is just some basic stuff, um, the themes. Ooh, excuse me. Um, there's animated titles. You can j this. You really have to just dick around with. But um, the animated titles in each of these are actual um, little snazzy things that you can double click 
car. You can double click the text yeah. and you can add whatever you want. You can position that wherever you want it, etc., etc. And it actually plays an animation. You're gonna hear the background of my uh, Dead Space playing here, so that's, just keep that in mind. And actually, I can turn that off. And then I can play, and then it's just sad. <laughs> anyway, so I, you guys get the idea. Um, callouts are what they are, they're callouts. You can pick a bunch of different ones. If you want transparent text, you can click that, and then just do whatever you want. And then you can mess around with it like you guys know. You guys know what I'm talking about here. Um, anyway, so but again, everything applies to the same thing. Uh, cursor effects, this one's really handy. If you click on that, uh, if you click on something that you've just recorded, there's going to be a little option that you can take off the mouse so you don't see the mouse in the middle of the screen and all that stupid stuff. I hate that. Uh, visual properties are where you can put borders along, like my webcam, that's how I do that. Um, etc., etc. Shadow drop, uh, scale, what have you. You guys, you guys get it, you guys get it. Um, there's a lot more options. Transitions are obviously transitions, so you can do the blocky thing. I don't think it'll show. I won't show it. Oh, yeah, I kind of did at the end there. Um, you can also drag the. Uh, oh, yeah, this is your zoom in. Zoom in to get a more accurate. There we go, that's going to show. More accurate view of the timeline, and trust me, that comes in handy a lot. Now you can see how it's going to square over. <laughs> very slowly because I, I, I keep changing the time. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, you, really to dick around with it, you just gotta mess around with all this stuff and see what you like. I mean, um, it all really does all come down to your preference. Now, as well as I'm getting on with preference, um, there's a slider here that helps me. I always do it this, like this, so that you can see more. Uh, layers of your project, however you can make them bigger, you can, you know. Anyway, so this is all just Camtasia. Uh, once you're up and ready to record, you have to keep in mind that Camtasia can only record um, without having hardcore um, CPU issues, is uh, windowed games. So not full screen, you gotta window those down, which really, it sucks because some games can't. And you can, I'll show you later, uh, you can enable aerospace during the recording, which, oh god, it's horrible, but you can do full screen games, it's just not very, very good. Um, anyway, so once you have, um, once you have a selection that you like, like, with, like, I always do, like, 10 minute videos or whatever, so let's say you want it at, uh, 120. So you right click, and then you split, and then you take that away, and then you copy all just by holding down, you know, pretty, pretty simple stuff. And then you can do... Why? Oh, wait. There we go. So, um, these are your little, your little, um, what do you call them? I want this section. You double click it to bring it all back. And take the green one and I put it all over to the end. I click produce and that will save just that chunk as video. Alternatively, if I want to go ahead and throw on my little outro, I go import media. I go. <laughs> this is my little thing of uh, much more jigs of all my little pictures I can throw up there sometimes. Um, and then you can go, you know, outro 7, sure, and then I go, stick that on there, and then I go transitions, let's go, let's go flip, this is going to get really weird, See, pretty straightforward, did I not have an outro at the end of this, oh wait, no, I split, right, so, so yeah, so then it'll be like, erp, erp, Oh yeah, that's what sound. And then, so on and so on. Uh, anyways, you can also edit clip speeds when you right cl uh, you click, and then you can go into speeds, you can ratchet it up so it's like 20 times quicker. Uh-huh. 
that. Anyways, um, yeah, so anyways, enough of getting at that, you just really have to dick around with it. If you guys want to show, me to show you guys like a full-on tutorial video, I will. Um, next, to actually record your game, you can click the record screen. Um, that brings you to uh, this. This will pop up with a little mini thing on the side there. And this is your full screen. You can customize the settings of how big you want the report to be, whether whether or not you want your webcam on. Uh, you click that little arrow drop-down box there to pick whatever uh, whatever webcam you have. Uh, same here with the microphone. If you have a headset or something plugged in, be a USB or uh, one of the audio jacks there, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, then this is uh, <coughs> excuse me. This adjusts the gain, so how green, uh, how much game comes in uh, to enable the aerospace you just go into tools properties and then it says uh, disable arrow I can't show you right now I just realized that oh maybe I can uh, no I can't go into options okay never mind anyways this is the recording one too so uh, anyway so once I recorded a video once I recorded a video you slap it in there you edit it all out you do your whole thing with it then you do you can do either produce and share, which will do the, anything that's on the timeline, or you can do that method I showed you. You kind of go like that, and you go. Anyway, so that will eventually produce you guys this freaking little video shit balls. After that, uh, what I do is obviously I put in the giant key, as you can see with all of these videos over here. Yeah. Uh, the way I like to do this, these are the ones I'm going to be posting up. These are the ones I have to post today. And then these are the, the reservoir of all the ones I need to put up there. Uh, up here. So, that's that. After I do that, you go into your YouTube account. You upload that video. Obviously, once being signed in, you drop that in here. Now, that's going to take its sweet time. Jesus, why 23 minutes? Anyway, so once I do that, then I've got to go down here and fix all this. I do use template stuff because writing all this out is so... Oh. Uh, I highly advise you going into the YouTube settings and going into your default. Um, that is, of course, when you go here, 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 go into your video manager. Uh, you go into your video manager, um, you go into channel settings, then you go to defaults, and then you can edit whatever you want your video to state after that and all your general junk. Um, hmm. Anyway, so once I do that, then I have to monetize it because I am sponsored now. Woo! Well, not sponsored, but uh, partnered. For, do all that jazz, save it all up, and then I go, uh, normally, and I won't lie to you, I just go like this and I just spam whatever comes up, because <laughs> I am lazy as fuck. Then after that, you click, I can choose my picture, which I don't do for my dead space. Add to this, do, 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 where's dead space 2, dead space 2, dead space 2. Oops. Where the heck is that? There's two. It should be down here with the duck. Oh, there's that. Yep. Alright, so once I get that done. I have to wait again. <laughs> Why do I have Starbound open? Amazing game! I'm back, and uh, I decided that this is taking a little bit too long. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this. Normally I can do three videos in about half an hour, so why one's taking half an hour, I'm not sure. But anyways, let's just say, okay, this is 100% done. You've done all this jazz, you've got your custom thumbnail all signed up. You want to click that, and it's going to go over to your video. Now, for, uh, for an example, I'm just going to use a GTA 5 video. So let's say that that's what I upload. So, I upload that. Then what I do is I, again, the guides, this is all what I do. So, um, I go ahead and I want to add an annotation. So I go click that. Now, I like this this whole subscribe thing. It, it's easy, it's fast. 
you know, it's it's oh, a nephew. <laughs> so what I want, what I do is I go add annotation. I go note, brings up that little box there. I'll do like sub or or you know whatever, and then I go the year. I go down here, make sure it matches the length of time. I just do 19, whatever time my uh, however minutes it is. I don't normally do seconds. <sighs> Jesus, sorry, I'm just trying to hold oh, that yawning. <coughs> then I link, and <coughs> oh my god, and then I like to do. Wow, thanks computer for not remembering what I. Okay, I'm back. there you go. I'm back. I have this copy and pasted in my computer here somewhere, and this is a instant sub. Like I'll bring up a confirmation if do you want to sub to this person, I click that. And uh, with that, uh, you can, uh, all you gotta do is do the, do what you see here. Obviously put that, your username in there. And then question mark, dot dot dot, dot dot, sub confirmation, tools for that one. So, that's what you do, then you're gonna hit save. Mine's already saved, because I'm the boss. Uh, you can just, you know, deck out text however you want. I'm actually going to leave this up here. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you guys want the thing to be on those side, you know, just use your brains. You guys are smart. You guys got this. Publish. And now what I do is, I mean, you know, going on YouTube alone is really hard. And uh, I just get myself, I don't, think it, I don't think I can put add views to my thing. Uh, what I <laughs> um, what I do? Oh, by the way, guys, thank you so much for 140 subs. I've been getting subs like a mofo. Don't really know what it is, but anyways. Um, so what I do now is I go onto a awesome little thing called Yoush. I oh, leave a description uh, thing in the description there. Link uh, Yoush.com. It is a you uh, like a, a community. There we go. I cannot speak today. I apologize. So it's a YouTube community where people can post up the videos up here and have like a second way of throwing the videos out into a public. So I will go ahead and leave that in the description. Which uh, good luck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of leading the top contributors, which is cool. But um, oh, I've already got this video posted. Well, I'll show you. Right. So then what you do is you just sign in, make an account, uh, and you go submit your video, that brings it here, and then you gotta take your link to this, make sure uh, it says HTTPS, that means S stands for secure, meaning that doesn't work, so if I copy, if I copy this, and I put it in there, delete the S, and then retrieve it from. And then it brings you basically to a little, are you sure this is all the stuff you want to do? It's going to have a preview of your video up there, category you can set, how is your action adventure, it has your, your description already posted, and then uh, all your time, your keywords, you know, I've got everything your custom put in, and then you go save media. Now, it won't let me do this because um, I've already got this video posted up on Yoush, but then once it goes back, it basically cuts to just this. So your video, and then you can hit submit again. <sighs> anyway, so you guys can see how much of a pain in the butt it is, especially when I'm doing three videos a pop. Uh, to do all of that, not to mention making thumbnails. Um, you know, oftentimes if I'm in a hurry or if it's a multiplayer series, I'll just quickly whip one up together like this, like our, our Net Me and Souls Nether series, or Adam. Um, you know, etc., etc. Sometimes I'll take the time and actually really. Well, that's one I didn't really do. I kind of whipped it up too, but I, I, I put a little more time into that. Um, I used Macromedia Flash for that to make that effect. I really like Macromedia Flash um, to do thumbnails. Uh, then I use GIMP to make them uh, as big as they are so they're clear. <sighs> Alright, so um, yeah, so that is that. Um, I mean, I don't know, I really like doing YouTube, I mean, it's really, it's really fun, and I definitely encourage everybody and anybody to go ahead 
and start a ROM. I mean, doesn't matter the method of uh, how you get the uh, recording software. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. But that's completely up to you. Um, if you guys need a hand or you know have any questions or anything like that, and you're getting into YouTube and you don't really know where to go, go ahead and PM me. I mean, I would be definitely more than happy to help you guys out. And, uh, you know, just go ahead and, uh, I don't know, even put it, any questions in the comments, whatever you guys got, go ahead and slap it in there, uh, just to make sure that you guys know, because I know this took me a little bit to figure out, to get to your inbox, you actually have to go into your video manager, then you have to go into community, and then you have to go into inbox, like, how stupid is that, it should just be something that's just there, <sighs> I don't know, but, you know what, fuck it, anyways, guys, so thank you so much, um, I do hope to be posting those other three videos probably a little, a little later tonight. I don't know exactly when just yet, but they'll be up tonight. I am also noticing that there's a big drop in my views. I mean, I'm getting back to my regular, which was three to four views, which is like, ouch. Like, whew. I got a big drop. Like, 15 was, that's this one, and now it's like, six. Oh, crap. So, uh, I would really appreciate you guys if you shared this out a little bit, you know, help me out. And uh, I will go ahead and do my best to provide the best entertainment around. Once again, guys, as always, please check out my friends list right there on the right-hand side of the page. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys showed them some love. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I make. I hope this helped. And like I said, feel free to drop me a question or a comment. Peace out, but Oh, radio, tell